On the occasion of the first week of communism on the floating island, our president of the new communist parliament, Nana Plev, is holding a meeting of the communist party where he will try to secure the island more than ever. I'm the trouble star, punkin' instigate. Nederský větr je krýv za své. You are die. A large percentage of the population doesn't mind spending resources on expanding the island, while some who don't share resources are forced to kill hundreds if not thousands of mobs for XP resources. Although some people to face will be island and superior relatives. I'm the self-inflicted, my detonator. Communism is bad, you idiot. I'm the one infected, twist animated. I the mrsh kuzanya yeda. This is all our territory. Was that a person flying? Nah, I don't think that was a person. That kind of looked like a weird ass blue alien. Do you do you think that was Jesus coming from heaven? Dude, if that was Jesus, then I'm Mark Zuckerberg and you are Steve Jobs. Wait, didn't he die of cancer? Wanna break, break from the ads? If you tap now to watch a short video. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Project Skyblock. This is a project where I decided to open up my very own Skyblock server for one whole month. Now, what could possibly happen on this small server on a goddamn Skyblock? On this 300 subscriber channel community? There isn't really much that can happen, right? I mean, we barely got 10 plus people online in the same time, right? Well, uh, uh, I was very wrong. A lot of things can happen on this small server. So, without further ado, let's start, shall we? Day 1. Started on stream, on this island, in the middle of nowhere. And the first thing we did was destroy every block that we could walk on and punch each other to death for 20 minutes straight. I wanna die. After filling the chat with more lines than AI code, I decided to boot up my brain for once and put bedrock below, so that we could stop falling for once. Wow. And perhaps turn on keep inventory, you know, for safety measures. <laughs> After that, we now didn't fall to our deaths every single second, and we could EXPAND our island. After that, we did casual skybox things. Make a cobblestone generator. Done. Develop the island. Done. After that, we expand the platform that mobs were spawning on. And did it help? Well, you tell me. It was like that platform had more mobs than an entire population of China. We also began construction on mob farm tower, which we got done in 50 minutes. Which for us was pretty amazing, given that some people in this community likes to be an imposter and sabotage our progress. And that someone was perhaps even us. Sus. Because we broke the mob farm and in the process of repairing it, we died. Multiple times.
Day 2. Progress between Day 1 and 2 was pretty significant. We even got a whole house at spawn. Well, almost. Today we went into Nether, which for some reason was not deleted, so we got free wood. Very good. For this day, I repaired house and the platform that our tree farm was growing, and decided, hmm, the tower is too small. Let's make it bigger! And it was bigger. Day 3. We tested keep inventory in Nether by punching a woman into lava and falling after her just 3 seconds later. Got our first iron and made two hoppers to easily collect mob loot. And that the incident doesn't happen. And also got shot to death several times. Day 4. On this day, we captured a witch and cured a zombie villager back from his dirty, slimy mind, and I got a smooth brain moment and covered the whole villager training hall with lava cast. <laughs> day 5. On this day, we didn't do much, only that we got over 5 people online at once. Very good. The tower was now slow because of all spider fuckers spawning instead of skeletons or zombies, which would be much more helpful. So to fix that problem, expect. Day 6. This guy made his shoes on fire from which whatever reason. And also made his head burning in the blue flame. Don't ask me why, I don't know either. I expanded the lava cast, which was much more looking like a mountain, and because of this mountain, I was building using lava and water, we got a lot of cobblestone, which, of course, we used to expand. Now, do you remember that guy? Void. Yes, him. Do you know what he thought was a good idea to do? on an Aterno server. He made 10,000 particles come from him in one second. What happened? Well, this happened. <laughs> Day 7. We survived a one whole week on the server. Hooray! <laughs> I booted up the stream and the spawner was griefed. Repairing the tower was not a big deal, and I got it done in about 20 minutes. After that, we had fun until... The off. Yeah, he was literally cold like that. Join the world, and this will not be a big problem. Right? Well, it was. Because this server had a whitelist, and that whitelist was only available on my Discord server. And he somehow sent me his whitelist approval. Well, for now, remember him for later, alright? For the rest of the stream, I had fun with the others while making the mountain longer. Ah! ah. Day 9. Now, why did I skip one day? Well, I wanted peace and more time to rethink my existence yeah, as a human mind, being. Yeah. Today, I decided to continue my daily vlog on this server and when I logged in, someone griefed the server. Kill me. After I found out who was behind the grief, I decided to punish him. And would you look at that? It was off. Well, what do you think would be a fair price to pay by griefing a server? Number one, ban. Number two, timeout. Or the third one, doxing this motherfucker. We've got flag, look. Tolki šo pola kuće. Ne znam šta smo ovdje imali, ne znam da li sam natiš neke bitne stvari. Če ga bana? How about you stop fucking in my projects, zato što sam mu napisao. Anyways, for the rest of the day, me and these two help me repair the damage that has been done to the server. Thank you, brothers. Day 10 to 13. I continue with my work on lava... Sorry, sorry. 
Mountain Project. I expanded beyond even more and educated Nenad. This guy ought to make a lava cast. Sorry, Naked Mountain for the next three days. Oh yeah, by the way, he proclaimed himself as a communist dictator of this server. Yeah, sure buddy. Day 13. Today, besides building mountains out of lava and water, for the third time this week, we had a little meeting because someone trolled and killed Nanad, which, by the way, is leader of communist regime. And because of that, Nenad and Void become hating each other. And in the meantime, Void established anti-communist parliament that is against the Nenad's parliament. Because of all this, I need to make this meeting as long as possible and try to calm down these two or we're going to have a full-blown civil war on this little island. Day 14 to 15. The second livestream of this project I livestream on YouTube in which was not very pleasant to watch. Yeah. On this livestream I continued making mountain longer and we decided that three goddamn layers of mob farm was not enough. So we added another, another one. one. And now, do you see what I see? Yes, that was one of our moderators in creative making nether portal more fancy. Now you know what is the problem? That was not the moderator. That was someone else on his account. And do you know who is it? It is Marco. This guy. He thought that going into someone else's account without their notice and without anyone's permission was pretty cool. He wasn't creative and how he said, making SMP better. Yeah, that guy can go fuck himself. Day 16. Now, as you can see, the map does look a little different. Thank that to that uneducated piece of shit Marco because he ruined the final product of this project. And don't get me wrong, what he made was pretty amazing and he did organize a server like it was going to be long lasting. But let me tell you something, this server was not planned, just like you. This server was planned to be just one month open, and that's it. If I wanted server to look nice, I would already do that in the beginning, okay? I hope that you understand. Anyways, today I didn't do much besides... EXPE- Day 17 What am I doing? Was there even a point in this? I'm sitting here for days recording this stupid skybox server that I opened 17 days prior and now the server was more dead than ever. It was just me and the island all alone building, expanding, falling. Is it worth it? Is this so worth it? The suffering, the fixing, the maintaining of the server, it must have. If it wasn't, I would not have an open server in the first place. This just has to be one of those dead days, am I right? And I was. Day 20. Today, the server was a little bit more active than last 3 days, and I was happy, because the server was revived back from dead. Day 21. On this live stream, we did a lot of things. First things first... Hey. Come on. <laughs> just say. Just say. Me to smile. A oiče, a ovdje on iskreno oiče, što je naj, što je najgod od svega. Interesting. After that, I went into end to destroy what Marco had built without our permission. And destroying everything took fucking ages. After quite literally dropping a nuke on the end island, I decided that it was a good time to kill the wither. And let me tell you something, it was a very bad idea. Ungore. Uh, sad bih sad bi htio da me ubiješ i imam jedno srce. Hvala lijepa, ajme još nek puko. 
<laughs> šta ti je to puklo, a? Šta ti je to puklo, a? Nešto što je Valky upuklo. <laughs> Dečki, idemo. Aha, ok. Ajde. Aha, aha. Ajde, ajde, ajde. 3, 4, sad. Bješ, <laughs> Ne! Ne! Crkni! Crkni! Da! Crkva, crkva, crkva. We kill him! After dying 20 times to him. And to the end of the live stream, I began constructing my very own house. Because nothing interesting was happening. Except the fall of communist regime on the island, which was destabilizing faster than my will to live. So I expected Pornella to be assassinated in the next few days. Day 22. Today the communist regime was at the weakest and I simply didn't care. Why? Because at the moment, if everything continues like this in a day or two, there is going to be a civil war. Me, who didn't know what was even happening, decided to spend time walking around the island and destroying Nether with TNT. Don't test me how I got it. After making Nether look like after a Trinity nuclear test, I decided to make a memorial, statue, however you want to call it, to the Ender Dragon Egg. Yep, I just made that out of pure boredom. Day 23. The villagers. <laughs> They died because of the griefers fucking up the trading hall for three times over, and one of the fourth people whitelisted killed the villagers in cold blood. So today's goal was to get two villagers back into the trading hall. Yeah, yeah, Isa. Day 24 Boys, do you know what time is it? It's time to shoot children. Day 25 The end was in sight. It was just a matter of time. I had imprisoned him. He shouldn't be able to escape. I separated his body throughout multiple dimensions. Nobody should be able to reassemble him. I left a note written in his heart. I just hope that it doesn't come true. I just hope that it doesn't make this god a new hostile body his soul. I hope that... Uh, wow, that was weird. Anyways, day 26 to 27. The last days on the server were pretty active and pretty crazy. How crazy you might be asking? Well, let's see. First, for some reason my missing cousin body boy was trapped in the body of a pig. Wacht. After seeing my missing cousin Bodyboy, we punched a kid and one of the moderators put it up one of our two brain cells that we had left and thought to put ice so we can play with the boats, which was for the end a great idea, and we had a lot of fun. <laughs> They even built a racing track out of ice outside of the island, which was pretty cool. Day 28 The time has come. The final day before our doom. 
the live stream that had recorded it all. We looked at everything that we built so far. The statue, the tower, the houses. It was beautiful. But I know that I couldn't contain him. I know that we couldn't contain him. He just growed. Too strong and beyond my capabilities. It was too late. He has already broken out of the Bear Island. It's just a matter of time before it begins controlling him. He will make the mark and destroy everything that we were building all this time. The Destroyer will control the God and only the Scorpion has the cure to make him weak. The time has come. The God lost control to the Destroyer and he destroyed everything in his body. Remember.